7 Action News investigators have just obtained court transcripts from key hearings on the case of that eight-year-old girl whose mother was later accused of stabbing her to death. Investigator Ross Jones is live in the newsroom. He's been on the story since the beginning. Ross, you're hearing that both sides missed some opportunities to protect the child? It seems that way, Stephen. We just reviewed the 22 pages of transcripts from two court hearings in November at Wayne County Juvenile Court. At the time, Child Protective Services was trying to remove eight-year-old Tamaria Green and her siblings from their mother's care. That's because there were allegations that the mother had physically abused her daughter. But the end result, according to these transcripts, is that one referee said that even though the children should not go home because of the alleged abuse, he did not grant Child Protective Services' request to put those children in foster care. A juvenile judge signed off on that. Minutes ago, we spoke to a child welfare attorney who said Wayne County's juvenile court failed to follow the law and protect these children. The judges failed to protect the children after making findings that the children were in danger, that they needed to be in foster care. They said contradictory things in the courtroom, had confusing orders so that nobody knows what the judges wanted to have happen, and the end result was the children, although everybody admitted they were in danger from the mother, did not get taken from the home. Now, it is clear from the transcripts that Child Protective Services officials did ask on November 23rd that these children be removed from their home and put into foster care. But the referee on the case told Protective Services that there was no reason to remove them that day. He added that officials could return later and ask for removal on an emergency basis. But then five days later, at another hearing, Protective Services officials did not seek removal of those children, and they only asked for therapy for eight-year-old Tamaria. A judge signed off on that, too. Weeks later, police say Tamaria would be stabbed to death by her mother. We reached out to juvenile court officials late tonight, but they could not be reached for comment. I'm live in the newsroom, Ross Jones, 7 Action News.